Hey y'all, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Just got home and got my groceries unpacked and put away. And now I'm just getting ready to work on a diamond painting. So I'm just going to relax for the rest of the day. I've got a doctor's appointment again tomorrow. My appointment today was my counseling. So uh, that was in office instead of by Zoom. So. so it was good. Um, we didn't start my EMDR yet. Uh, we talked about some other things today and we'll be starting the EMDR probably next week. Um, it's, you know, the, the EMDR is going to be really intense, I, I think. Um, it can bring up a lot of emotions, a lot of stuff from the past, which is one of the main reasons I'm doing it, because with having pretty much no memories of my life until about age 12 or 13, I, I have blocked all that out and I need to know why. So that's the, one of the main reasons we're doing the EMDR because it can bring up and let your issues come to the forefront so you can deal with them instead of just repeating the same old mistakes you've made. So I've already let my kids know that I'm going through it and that you know, there may be times where I give them calls to help me process something. Of course, I'll try and handle everything on my own, but kind of like when I called my youngest because of the bell I heard on a movie that sounded like Lovey's Cat Bell, and I started spiraling from that, and you know, that'll be about the times when I'll call my boys after having the EMDR. Um, it is a ongoing process, and I will be see seeing my, my therapist weekly. Um, so it, it's going to be intense, but hopefully, hopefully I can get to the root of my issues and work through it to break the cycles I've been in all my life. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm looking forward to it, but I know it's also going to be physically and probably emo and very emotionally draining when I start, but That's okay. I can do it. It'll be good for me. So, you know, it's just... Got a lot of appointments this month. Uh, which is, you know, I got no issues with that. Uh, I just want everything to come out good. Uh, tomorrow I see my family doctor and... I've got to have her send me over for my mammogram. I haven't done that this year, and I've got to get it done. You know, fingers crossed it'll be come back normal, as in all previous years. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but things are going pretty good. I know I haven't been making many videos. in the past few months since Lovey died. I just recently, like within the past 10 days or so, got back on social media. I still have not 
turned on my Xbox. I bought the new Diablo 4 game. I haven't opened it and I haven't played it yet. Um, I haven't turned on my Xbox. So pretty much what I've been doing is spending time with Jet, taking care of my tarantulas and diamond painting. So that's and that's pretty much my daily things. Uh, but it's... They're good days, for the most part. They're really good. I laugh. Sometimes at things on the internet. Sometimes things I do and Jet does. But... Life is pretty peaceful right now, and I need that. I really need the peace and quiet and just taking joy in the simple things right now. So that's where my focus is. Um, diamond painting I'm working on right now I'll probably have it done if not today then probably tomorrow so that'll be good and then I'll get to start a new one got some new ones coming in the mail soon so I said not not a whole lot going on with my life right now but that's the way I prefer it I like having quiet, peaceful days and just working on being a better me, examining everything that I've got to work through. And, you know, it can can really be difficult to admit how badly you fuck things up. And God knows I have. You know, four failed relationships and the one thing in common was me. I'm not totally to blame for the failure of my relationships, but I, I own a good portion of it because I kept bringing the same old me into each new relationship. And, you know, I, I honestly didn't know any better. So, I mean, I've had therapists all my life. I've been in counseling off and on. And they've all helped in one way or another. But my therapist now, Jasmine, she is the one that has really pushed my boundaries and made me come out of my comfort zones to look at the true issues and not the superficial crap that I usually would talk about with therapies. Um, you know, she, she really does push me to, to be better and to, to get to the deeper, darker parts that I've hidden. And I, she, she really is one of the best therapists I've ever had. So it's, you know, it's going to be an intense summer. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind. I am just 
grateful to have found such a good counselor to help me. I'm extremely proud of myself for wanting to confront all my issues instead of leaving them buried. And I'm so proud of myself for everything I've done up to this point in, in my therapy. When I first started with Jasmine, I was broken. And as much as I claimed I was blaming myself, which I was blaming myself, but I was also pushing a lot of blame onto other people that they didn't deserve, much as I didn't deserve what I was putting myself through. So I'm just trying to be better today than I was yesterday and better tomorrow than I am today. I have a quiet life and I value that. Back when I was on the police department, yeah, that was really going to be my career. But once I had to give that up because of my back, you know, that was, that was difficult, but Due to my back issues, I knew my career days were pretty well over, no matter what I tried to do. And, you know, I know most people expect you to have some big looming goal you're trying to reach. I don't have that. My goal is to be a better mom, a better grandmother, and a better person in re relationships. That's my goal. I, I don't strive to make a loud noise saying I'm here <clears throat> or, uh, you know, make leaving my quote unquote mark on the world. I, I don't have that drive. I don't want that. For me, knowing I raised my kids to be wonderful men That's the greatest thing I could do. Knowing I did good with them is all I need. I still strive to be kind to everybody I meet that I strive even more to be kind to myself. Because I haven't for a long time. Until recently. In the past few years, I've gotten a lot kinder to myself. Giving myself the grace I usually give to others. But I do believe you don't have to have some great big goal to have a fulfilling life. My heart is full and happy. And that's because I have such great children and grandchildren. 
they are the world to me and my pets too you know i love every one of my tarantulas i love jet i miss belden socks lucy smoky onyx and lovey i miss every one of them that pain is still there and it probably will be because they were all very special cats but they're gone i have great memories and i still have jet and i have my family and there's nothing more i could want so I'm going to try to post more videos in the coming weeks. I think I've posted like maybe two in three to four months. So it, it has been difficult to make, make any videos right now, but I'm, I'm going to work on it. I hope everyone that watches this is blessed as much as I am. I hope you all become the best versions of yourselves and know that you are loved, you are worthy. You are not insignificant. So I thank you for watching this. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you all in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.